faces are filled with so much anger Losing our dignity and hope from fear of danger After all the wars, after settling the scores At the break of dawn, will we be deaf to the answers? There's so much bigotry, misunderstanding and fear With eyes squinted and fists clenched, we reach out for what is dear Date. So we're just gonna stay in your car all night. That's the plan. Okay. What's wrong with that? Oh, nothing. I just thought we'd actually go somewhere, you know, indoors where you have dates. We're somewhere inside on a date. We're in your car. It's cheesy. And it's just tacky. Tacky? Yes, I'm tacky. I'm saving money. What's so tacky about that? What do you need more money for is a better question. It's money. Who doesn't want more money? You, money makes this world go, ar go round. Hmm. What do you say? Question. Answer. Anyways, what's with your, uh, sweater? What do you mean, what's with my sweater? It looks very cheap. Like, bargain bin cheap. What are you talking about? It doesn't look cheap. You told me to be comfortable, therefore I'm comfortable. Comfortable? Meant, like, fashionable? Like, look good? I do look good. Alex, it's just a sweater. What's the big idea? You don't look good. You look cheap. For information, I got it from a store, not a bargain bin, and it's not cheap. <sighs> nice. Was it on sale too? Maybe. Ooh, for how much? Five bucks. <clears throat> Okay, what is your problem? Nothing's my problem. You know what? Just take me home. Take me home now. Please, just just take me home. I'm done with this whole date. Just take but me we're, home. But we're, just, we're on a date. Like, I don't get it. And I don't care. Please, just take me home. <sighs> if that's honestly what makes you happy. Yes, 
I'm sorry. I, so I just got kicked out. I uh, have really no place to go. Mm. I know what you mean, man. I know a little story to tell you. I guess. Why not, honestly? Well, I used to live with my parents when I was around your age. And they decided to up and out. They moved countries. So I was left alone. It's been about two years now, and I had to pretty much live and learn. It's not like you can just figure everything out on the first day. How can you deal with this cold? Well, you have to prepare yourself beforehand. Anything that you get, anything that you make, anything that you find, you have to treasure it. I'm wearing a hat and it's nighttime. Why? Because I have nowhere else to put it, first of all. Second of all, it keeps my head warm. I found it. I'm glad you could find this whole situation amusing. I've been through a lot more than you think. A lot more than you have. You just got kicked out. <laughs> One of the main things you need to know is you need to make friends out here. If you don't have any friends, you can't do anything. You won't be able to survive nights if you don't make these friends, if you don't find somewhere to go, some place to be. I decided to come here because this is where I used to hang out with my friends from school. Once you make these friends, then you'll realize who family is. Family isn't always necessarily the people that birthed you, that created you. They're the people that have your back people that are with you, whatever, no matter what. You find a couple of dollars on the street, what do you do first thing? What's the first thing on your priority right now? Tell me. I don't know. You should get parents give me money or just steal their stuff, I don't know. <coughs> I'm already getting sick. Don't feel ashamed asking somebody for a little bit of help. You can always get through. There's always a way. There are three ways to go after something like this. You either go down, kind of down. You stay in the middle, you're just getting by, or you go up. How can you get up from something like this? Well, we're in Canada. We have support. You can go to the government. Hell, you can walk there. I've, I've barely walked a day of my life. Well, now's the time to start learning, man. I have no time for this. <coughs> oh, man. What do you have time for? You have time for everything and anything. You have time to survive. I don't know how you do it. Clearly, you've practically, like, grew up in it now. Somewhat. I never really was at home much, but I just learned from experience. It's been two years, as I said. Two years on your own is a long time. Day by day, every day means something. Every day is a struggle to survive, and if you survive, well, guess what? You did your job for the day. You survived. You're alive. So, what are you going to do? I don't know. Well, if there's anything, you can come with me. Where are you, other than here? Anywhere and anywhere. Anywhere. I can just bring you to the places you need to be, because you're young. You have a chance. You have the opportunity. We'll go to the government, buildings, get you on welfare or something. You're a child. Whatever, honestly. We'll go tomorrow.